Hi, Jack. Hi, Captain. How are you? Hello. I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm doing very well. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Who will unite humans and black bloods under one banner? They release the gods. Feel that um, this will be last season of the Outpost. Oh, I know. It's it's funny because it's been my life for four years, you know, and and um and I love this genre so much. I'm a lifelong fantasy fan and sci-fi fan. So um, you know, I, I I keep saying it every time somebody asks, but but this job was truly a dream come true. I mean, it really, really was. Um, so I'm sad. I'm sad to see it go. But but also, I'm so grateful that we had four years. I mean, um, for any show to get past, to get even one season, and then to get past one season. And we we never knew if it was going to be our last or not. We never knew when it was going to end. Um, so to be able to keep it going like this and have four seasons, I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. Um, do I wish I could go back? Of course, of course. I loved it. It was it was so much fun uh, to be able to to be that one character for so long, and um, and we we really formed a family. The cast we we love each other so much, uh, and and such amazing friendships were formed that I miss everybody so much already. Um, but it's it's been a really great journey. And while I wish we could do more, I hope that I hope that the fans are happy with. Uh, with how it all kind of ends and and sure. they put a little bow on it and you know it's good it was good for sure i would like to know what you had to do prefer for your character to prepare and, and things like that um it's it's funny people ask that question sometimes it's a good question um because i feel like my answer is is almost more applicable to season one and maybe season two, um, where I I just I try to think of you know, well first of all like I said I I love these worlds and so I'm I'm no stranger to to fantasy and and to knights and and magic and things like that I I love that stuff so much um, but but Garrett specifically realizing his history and where he comes from and. And, um, and things like that were things I really tried to focus on for season one. But I think all of us, by the time we hit this season, season four, we've almost spent more time as the characters than as, as ourselves. Um, that it's, we get the new script and we go, oh my gosh, what is happening? You know, we get the story, we find out what's, what's coming up. But it's almost muscle memory now how the characters will react because we've spent so long as them um so really it just comes to then physical preparation and things like that you know i would i would do horse riding training and fight training and um try to maintain some element of of physical fitness which is hard during during covid uh where i couldn't use a gym but um but things like that but the character preparation was more in early seasons because it was kind of second nature by by the end Okay, I'm sure that in this time, there are moments that you will never, never, never forget. What will be your three special moments for you? Oh my gosh, I only, I have to choose three? No, oh, only three, only three. From the, from top, the whole the show? Top. Okay. From yes. this season? The, the show. The and show. show. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, just getting to play a night. Um, mm -hmm. And, and for me, you know, I, I do an accent in the show. I do a dialect where I talk like this and, and maybe it's dubbed, I, I don't know. So, but in, in the English, um, any English version that uses my voice, you know, I'm from the US, um, but, but I got to talk like I was from the UK and hopefully that sounded all right. Uh, but getting to do that and, and just be a knight um, was a childhood dream come true. So that's one, just the character, existing and me getting to play him is probably number one um also high on that list number two uh is in, in uh seasons two three and four we filmed in serbia mm. and um every chance i had i would do horse riding training uh if i had any days off and i had um, a wonderful horse trainer uh marina and um and i was on the same horse for almost the entire show every once in a while 
uh, if, if he was he was a big star, if he was on a different pro, uh, project or something and couldn't come, then I'd be on a different horse. Uh, but for the most part, all my training and and uh, the riding in the show was on a horse named uh, Bachushka, who was a, a, a big thoroughbred. And I, this horse was my friend by the end of it. And um, being able to go, the, the stables were right near this huge forest. And so some of my favorite memories um, are going horse riding and just galloping through these forests and jumping over logs and and uh, riding up hills and, and dodging branches and and things like that. Um, it was amazing, 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 amazing. Yeah. And then number three. Oh, gosh, I think number three is is honestly because I'm a fan of this genre. The opportunities that this show has allowed me to do in um like I, I formed and designed for a, a Dungeons and Dragons dice company and I think that that kind of helped um was able to get off the ground because I was on a fantasy show and, and things like that because I'm partnered with a wonderful company um and and so the opportunities that have come in like attending comic cons and launching my line of dice and I stream um fantasy games twice a week in between jobs now and and meeting all of these other fans of this genre, uh, I'm like, oh, these are my people. You know what I mean? These are the people that I relate to. So, so just being able to have an impact on those people and to meet them has been really, really cool. Really cool. Uh, uh, I want to know, Jake, uh, how was a normal day in the recordings? Um, just on set, just in general. It, yes, in general. Typic yeah, typically, um, especially before COVID, I would like if we had to be on set by 6 30 or 7 in the morning i would try to get up at 4 30 or 5 o'clock and do uh, a workout uh then i would go to set and and set is usually about a 12 hour work day and then i'd come home have some dinner go to bed early read you know make sure i was memorized for the next day and do it all again um so it's long hours uh but i'm very lucky in that my job means that during those long hours, like I said, I go and I put on medieval leather wardrobe or armor and wear a sword and go on adventures and fight monsters and, and try to save the realm. So um, it's, it's a long day. Uh, it's not as long as our crew. Our crew was amazing, both in the US for season one and in Serbia for, for two through four. Um, I mean, they worked so hard and so long. Um, but but it was it was long days. It was long days. Very rarely did we have days off. Uh, but it was the best. It was you're it's one of those things you get home and you just collapse because you're so tired, but you do it with a smile on your face. Do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> yes. it was great. It was great. Jake, my last question is can you share me some blue bear during the filming? <laughs> <laughs> do you know who the best person? I, I don't have anything like that because my costume never has pockets. And I don't like to have my phone on me anyway. So I, I'm sure there were plenty of bloopers, but I don't know if they saved any of the footage. But do you know who's really good with recording behind the scenes? Funny, funny things is Adam Johnson, who plays Munt in the show. It was always, he would hide his phone in his boot. I hope I don't get him in trouble. Uh, <laughs> and he would always record bloopers and funny things and, and jokes. Um, so Adam is the best person. I don't, I genuinely don't have anything that I could like give out. Um, I'm trying to think of any stories. Aaron and Reese and Adam, Amy, Jet, everybody was so funny. We were always playing jokes on each other. Um, but we're like a big family. We're all like siblings. You know what I mean? It's like my brothers and sisters. So uh, I can't think of a specific story right now. But Adam, I guarantee you, has on camera some fun things for sure thank you so much have an amazing year and thank please you be, be careful thank you so much <laughs> and you too time. i know it's crazy thank you for having me thank you so much you have something that belongs to us